Recent storms, though, providing a big boost to the snowpack in the Sierra. We're now joined by Andrew Schwartz from the UC Berkeley Sierra Snow Lab. Thanks so much for joining us. What's it been like the last couple of days up there? Uh, well, realistically, today has been the big and busy day. We've been getting all of our snowfall this morning and through this evening. Uh, yesterday was kind of windy, but we didn't get a whole lot in the way of snow. Uh, but overall, the snowpack's looking great, and it looks like we're looking forward to some more next week as well. Yeah, it's great news for skiers as well. We've been covering California's drought conditions for, it seems like, year after year. How much this, does this storm help you folks up there and, and for our drought in general? Well, it, you know, we're very excited about these storms, and it's, it's amazing to have all this moisture coming in. But with that being said, it's still just too early to talk about impacts to the drought. Uh, you might remember at this time last year, we had uh, almost 18 feet of snow fall in December, and we were kind of excited to come out of the drought, and then we had the driest January through March on record. So we're very excited, and the thing that makes this even better is that so far, it's looking like these storms are going to keep rolling through. So excited. Not too soon on calling uh, effects on the drought just yet, though. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to be cautiously optimistic, I can imagine, because so many years you just were begging for every last snowflake. So I, I know you don't have a crystal ball. I know you don't know what the weather's <laughs> going to be like a month from now. But given the pattern that we're seeing, what's your outlook for the rest of the season? Uh, you know, it's funny that you mentioned cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I've kind of thrown away the cautiously part at this okay. point and just embraced the optimistic. <laughs> It's a good um, idea. We're really, <laughs> I think so, yeah. Uh, we're, we're seeing, you know, plenty of precipitation come in this weekend and into next week. The next seven to 10 days look like the storm cycle are going to keep up. And that means that we can take this, this area where we're already ahead in snowpack and our water and rain and move that forward. Whereas last year we had already started to dry out. So beyond that, you know, it's kind of anybody's guess. But so far mm -hmm. it looks like the tap's not going to shut off in the same way it did last year. And that's very exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting for you guys and hopefully a prolonged snow season, ski season for the folks up there. All right, Andrew Schwartz from the UC Berkeley Sierra Snow Lab, thanks so much.